what's up guys so another one to go over real quick is this piranha build i did this a while back never took a video on it um, so it's an older build so now's the time to do a, do a video right so this is all right looks pretty good sometimes this burlap sack puts a lot of dust on things so um this is one of my Piranha dials that we went back and we hand painted around this. So hand painted orange through there and then I did a matching bezel insert for the orange. And then custom painted the seconds hand the same orange so it kind of ties in nicely on that too. So um, in a brushed case and then we did a high polished shark tooth bezel and with the orange insert the insert has the Hours and minute markers all the way around. Anchor engraved crown. Did a large uh, silver handset with, like I said, a custom painted seconds hand. Exhibition case back on it. Stainless steel movement holder in there. And then one of my little signature rotors. One of the old style I used to do. Uh, brushed clasp with the logo on there. And then this is in a two-piece Italian leather strap with orange stitching. And then an additional... Uh, kind of a matte finish keeper on this, uh, plus the regular keeper. So that is the build as a whole. Um, going over it, um, faux stock bezels go left, can they go right? They don't click. So I just put it on there a little bit tighter so it's harder to kind of move it. Um, these are automatic mechanicals, and as you can see, it stopped, right? That's because it's just been sitting on my shelf. So how this works is as you unscrew your crown when it's completely dead and it comes off your crown tubes. Now if you shake this around and you spun your rotor back there, it would start ticking, right? So just that little bit of movement, it's starting to go. But as you can see, it's going to stop or it's not going to run quite as well because it's dying, right? So as you unscrew your crown and it comes off your tubes, you can now wind it. Winding it is from 6 to 12. I'll turn that direction. And you're putting a load on the mainspring. Now I just wind back and forth because it's a lot easier to do than to let go and do this motion. And it doesn't hurt it to do that. So I just go back and forth for 4 or 5 seconds pretty aggressively. And that's what I recommend that you do before you wear it each day because as you can see a little bit of movement was giving it some juice but if you're not very active you're going to start losing time. So if you do it closer to 20, 25 seconds, you're going to max out your 31 hour power reserve. Though you can wind it all day if you want, uh, it, will never, it won't hurt the mainspring and the reversers will just not allow a more than 31 hour uh, on, you know, compression on the mainspring. So um, you wind it all out. There you go. You pull it to the one end only uh, click and you can now set your time. And you kind of pull back as you're setting your time. And you'll notice you've got play in the crown. That's a wobble crown. This is uh, essentially it's deflecting lateral pressure on the movement from going into the stem. So when you're pushing and prying on it, nothing's hurting it there. This is a design feature. There's nothing wrong with your watch, but it is definitely new to some. Okay, Google, what time is it? 12.15. So you scroll down to 12.15. It's non-hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. Make it nice and easy to push right back over. And screw down. Now you can go from winding to setting the time, but you cannot go from setting the time back to winding because once you've engaged the clutch system, you need to disengage it by screwing it back in there. When you pull it out and it clicks, you've engaged it and you can't push it back. You have to screw it all the way back down to engage it. You have to force the crown all the way in. So um, that's that build. Um, this build would come with fancy matching beads, some tiger eye, some hematite, and some nice marbled orange it will also come in a piranha box and then every build i do if it has leather comes with leather conditioner which i actually have some kind of close this is some i use so it's almost empty um keeps your leather nice and uh soft so if you ever feel that your leather is getting rough just apply it uh, you know kind of work it in with a rag and let it sit for a bit and it'll be nice and soft thereafter also come with watch cleaners. This is good on all metal and glass parts of any watch you have. It's non-toxic, non-streaking, and non-residue. And then uh, lastly, 
some scratch remover because this is an acrylic class. So if you scratch it, just buff against it. A little bit will go a long way on it. Buff against it, fill the scratch, generate some heat with your thumb, use a soft microfiber, something like the one that will come with it, and it will be out in about 15 seconds. So if you like builds like this or you want me to make you one, reach out. And if you want to continue seeing builds like this in real time, um, like and subscribe, and um, maybe someday I can build you a watch. Appreciate you hanging out with me.